Hey up everybody, uh, I'm going to move on to the next part of my micro lathe project that I'm, uh, that I'm doing. Uh, I'm just taking a break off of the actual lathe at the moment and I'm going, to, I'm going to have a look at a stand to put it on and the motor to fit under the stand. Uh, so I know what you're saying, this motor looks nearly as big as lathe, well yeah it, it, it is, but this is a quarter horsepower. I think I'm going to go for a sixth of a horsepower, which I think I've got one up my loft somewhere, which is a lot smaller than this. But if I make the cabinet to fit this bigger motor, I can always then put the bigger motor on if I need to. Whereas if I do it for the smaller one, then I can't fit the bigger one on, if, if you get me drift. Um, so what I'm going to do then, I'm just going to make a stand. Uh, the motor will be on one side on a pivot point and then perhaps at this side I'll put a, a few drawers or shelves it's not going to be that big actually this stand the actual size of it's only going to be 13 inch or 330 if you're working in metric by 8 inch deep or 200 mil and probably 8 inches high 200 mil so it's only going to be small and compact and then this is going to fit on the top of it with this pulley hanging out to fit this uh, this pulley on the lathe so what I'm going to do then I'm going to nip over to my woodworking shed and get some pieces of wood cut up uh, and then we'll take it from there
Right, well that's my little bit of woodworking completed. Uh, it's not turned out bad to say I've only used some cheap OSB board that I had left over from another job. Uh, I've just got to put either a coat of paint, a coat of wood stain or a coat of varnish on it. I've not decided yet. Uh, so uh, if you found that useful, informative, enjoyable, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And a thumbs up will help my channel along. Uh, and then I'll catch up next part of this micro lathe project then. So uh, I'm going to sign off for now. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.